All right, we got a couple in right now from Jesse. Question. I was asking a guy who I met online, first conversation about his dating history, and he started to feel uncomfortable and said he, prefer our, he preferred our deep conversation. Didn't ask me questions, thoughts. Okay, a lot of people feel uncomfortable about speaking about their past relationships. A lot of people feel uncomfortable. Now, chances are there's a, there's a variety of different reasons why they feel uncomfortable. Maybe they have something to hide. Maybe they were um, it was an unhealthy relationship and they don't want to share about it. Maybe they don't want you to glean that they might have some problems in their life and they're trying to show up as the ambassador of their best selves. That's something Chris Rock says in his uh, comedy show, the ambassador of their best selves. I think people who avoid talking about their past relationships, there's two things. I think people who avoid talking about their past relationships or they talk negatively about their past relationships in my book, is a no-no. Do not date these people. And let me explain why. Anyone who talks negative about their past relationship, what are they going to do when they end the relationship with you? They're going to talk negatively about you. Human beings who do not take ownership in their part to an ending of a relationship oftentimes aren't emotionally mature enough to be in a relationship. In addition, if someone is avoiding talking about their past relationships, they, of, they oftentimes don't have that level of trust within themselves to actually be in a healthy, happy relationship with someone else. When you, be, when you have operated from a place of self-love, in my book, What the Heck is Self-Love? Anyway, you can talk about your past freely, openly. Now, if there's something that's confidential about your past, it doesn't mean you have to reveal everything about your past relationships. However, and it's something that might have to be divulged during time, in time, I think it's important to get a sense of someone's past relationship because let's go back to my son, Colin here, the, my oldest, you know, he's only had one relationship in his life. When you get to midlife, you might have had one or two marriages. You might have had a couple boyfriend and girlfriends before you got married. You might have had a couple relationships after you got married. And a lot of that gives you clues as to their stability, their stability. I can tell you, folks, as a man, it's one of the first questions I ask of women. And depending on how they answer, it can be a yes or it can be a no. And I will tell you, most women operate from the premise of throwing their past relationship under the bus. And that is a clear sign to me that this person hasn't really matured within themselves to actually look at their own part in the ending of their relationship. And if you're not familiar with my relationship iceberg, I talk about this frequently, my, the relationship iceberg, the tip of the iceberg is chemistry. That's attraction below the waterline. The bigger part of the iceberg, shared values, blendable lifestyles, and emotional maturity. Here's the problem, and that's where compatibility lies. Here's the problem, folks. Men and women alike are stunted emotionally. They're stunted emotionally. They have weak emotional skills at best. And in fact, most men and women and ladies, you're guilty of this too, have poor communication skills. Just because you can vomit your feelings doesn't mean you're good at communication. This is why I continually recommend the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This was designed to help humans be better communicators in their romantic relationships. So coming back to your question, um, those are my rough thoughts about someone who either avoids talking about their past. Um, and certainly I wanted to add to that if they talk negative about their past, that's a really clear sign that they have not healed from their past, or it's not a clear sign. It can be a clear sign that they haven't healed from their past. And I would be very cautious dating someone who throws their ex under the bus. And I want to think, and I want you ladies to all think about how many times you've done it too. Take ownership in that. And maybe you might revisit some of your past relationships going, you know what? I had a part in this too. And ownership is a sign of emotional maturity. I'm going to repeat that. Taking ownership in your part is a huge sign of emotional maturity. All right. Great question there, Jesse. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.